Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hacks. Today, we are going to start a new series of software testing. So this series includes all the topics related to manual testing. So as you know, before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Let's get started to our part one of the manual testing software testing series. So before I start with software testing, I want to tell you that you might have tested already. How? Suppose whenever you, you go to buy anything like clothes or any of the new phones, something like that, first you will check it by yourself, right? Whether the quality is good right and then how does it feel suppose in case of clothes how comfortable it is you will see how the how does it look on you so all such things you will test it or verify it before you buy it right so that is normally that's how we test it but when it comes to a software that also requires to be tested right when Thousands and thousands of people or even lakhs and crores of people uses the application. In that case, software must be tested so that it should be working properly and consistently along with the accuracy is important. Right. So, so here software is something, it is something, an application you could, you can see. Software is nothing but an application. So when it comes to an application, we have different types of applications, right? It could be either web application. Web application is suppose you go to any browser and then type the URL or search for something and then you will navigate to the website and then you will test it. That is a web application. Along with that, we have mobile application. Suppose in case you have to install whatsapp facebook instagram so these are the type of applications which is called as native applications right so those are mobile applications and thirdly we have desktop applications suppose notepad and then excel word so these are the desktop application suppose in case of windows you will be having those icons installed so if you click on that it will open right so there are three different types of applications we have okay we will have to test based on the requirement so coming to the software testing software testing is the process of checking the quality functionality and performance of a software product before launching so before we buy we will check how quality is how it looks on you look and feel all the things you will check right in the same way the software also must be tested in a way that we will check the quality and how it is functioning and how the performance of the software product before launching it to the public software testing is a process in which defects are uncovered so here it is a process where we will find the defects too okay if you find that there is a defect you will log a defect and get it fixed okay and then the software should work as expected right software testing is a crucial part of software development life cycle as you know that software development life cycle, we will further study what is software development life cycle. But remember that it is one of the crucial part of the SDLC model. Okay. So we got to know that software testing is an important part of a software. And also in the software testing, we will check the quality and then the functionality and the performance of the application. Either it could be a mobile application or a web application or a desktop application. Okay. So checking the how it is behaving before you release it to the people or right depends on the requirement. Right. So that's how you will test the software. 
so we got to know that what is software testing so now let's understand why software testing is important but okay we know we have to test the software but why it is important because it identifies defects early okay okay in case after building the product that you got to know that there is a defect rather than that we can try to resolve it in the previous stage itself right so that's how it identifies the early defect so defects can be identified at the early stage before it goes to the production improves product quality suppose in case of facebook or instagram suppose in case youtube so all these are customer facing application where the users will be using it on regular basis so first the product quality is important to improve that quality testing is important so the users performance uh, and the user friendliness can be bought only by testers okay developers will think in a uh, standard of the development but we as a software testers we will have think from the end user perspective so that's the difference that the software testers and developers will be having okay so we will help the product quality to improve increases customer trust and satisfaction so which means that suppose there is an application where randomly it multiple times goes into a trouble so users will not trust such applications they will avoid using it they will go for some other alternative so if you give the best so then users will definitely stick on to your application so that's the reason it increases the customer trust as well as the satisfaction detect security vulnerabilities if there is any security related issues that can be identified before itself okay helps with scalability suppose in case if you want to improve the performance of the user so that's how we can test it out i am um, in the multiple ways and we can improve the quality as well as we can improve the uh, you know scalability we can scale we can add additional features also if it is required okay so that if the user can interact with that and if he is comfortable using it we have to provide such a feature where users are comfortable using it okay and it saves money okay it saves money suppose in case if the application goes live to the production okay and at that time if you if the customers see such errors and they report it it is something which is bad okay then we will have to fix it again release it right so that is not a good scenario and if you if the customer is satisfied they'll repeatedly use it and that's how you can increase the uh, uh, revenue for your application too right so that's how we can save the money if the testing is done in the early stage if it goes to production it gets costlier okay so that is why software testing is important so in this video we learned what is software testing and why software testing is important in the next video we will talk about software testing principles okay hope you learned something about software testing if you have liked this video please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye